Okay, so today I just wanted to talk about one of the stupid mistakes that I see and it is something which can massively hinder your ball striking and, well, just general control. Golf, if you haven't already noticed, is a difficult game and it's just difficult from one day to the next and that's because there are multiples of variables. But the sort of secret to consistency in golf is controlling the sort of bottom part of the golf swing. So this kind of means, should we say, roughly from sort of club parallel to club parallel. And what you're trying to do in that point in time is, well, you're trying to control your sort of swing plane, as I'm sort of demonstrating here. And what the swing plane does is it means that you'll have a more controllable club path. And if you can get a consistent club path, then you'll generally find that your club face will find more consistency, which lends itself to straighter shots or less bad shots is probably a better way of putting it. But that can often go wrong for a lot of golfers and they can really struggle to do that. And the reason why is because they actually are making a fault with the club face itself and it stems from the grip. So depending on the type of grip you've got, Okay, so some golfers choose to really rotate this hand over, other golfers tend to rotate it less. Some golfers tend to move the difference in the trail hand as well a little bit. But unless you're on the extreme where you're gripping the club quite literally like this, which is extremely rare, basically you'll always need an element of forearm rotation to square the face. Okay, as I'm sort of demonstrating here. So if you like a feeling of opening, closing, opening, closing. The amount depending on the grip style, but you'll always need some. Where golfers struggle is when they don't have that opening, closing, and they're sort of hitting it with more of a opening. And the reason why this happens is, again, down to the grip. So the trait that I tend to see with golfers is when they're holding the club, they get there on their trail side, the trail thumb lives too much down the center of the club shaft or even slightly towards the trail side of the club shaft. And opposable thumbs are strong, right? So our thumbs are strong. And what that does is our, our thumbs basically means that it manipulates the club face. So if you like, it closes the face. And that's what I tend to see with golfers in that setup position, is they get the thumb living too much down the front portion of the hand of the club. And this gets the club face um, either slightly close that address, if not square at address, but it just closes the club face too much, forcing you to open it. And all of my lessons are inspired by what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing from a face-to-face, -face, from people that come through the door and what I'm seeing from online. And over the last sort of week, I've visited one person who's come to visit face-to-face -face and two students from online that are having the same difficulty with the club face. Club face is getting too closed in the backswing position, not allowing a natural amount of rotation of the arm. And what that is therefore doing is it's meaning that the hit is becoming this sort of shallowing upward element of inconsistency. And what they've lost is because of this position of the club is they've lost that ability to rotate. And if you can't close that face, you won't get that sort of sense of compression. So to confirm, with the grip, you would put your lead hand on the club. And what you're trying to do with the trail hand is make sure that you're trail palm, so my right palm is squashing on my left thumb, and then your trail thumb, so my right thumb, is living down the lead hand side of the club. So that thumb really is having no active role in squaring the face, and the squaring of the face really comes down to the rotation of the arms, not a manipulation of the fingers, so to speak. And that's just one thing that I think you've got to be really careful of. So double check your grip. It might feel peculiar, it always does. Having that thumb, if you're somebody who's had it down the center of the club a bit too much and this way, you start going that way, but a great little drill is just start doing some bottom part swings where you're getting the feeling of opening, closing the face, opening, closing the face, opening, closing the face. And if you are somebody who's suffering with that club face slash thumb fault, and you move it and you start getting a feeling of rolling and releasing, you will notice a massive improvement in your ball striking. And that is it for today. So go and double check. Don't make that mistake with the grip. I'll see you guys again really, really soon.